and welcome to my channel, I'm Amanda and I thought today I would do a what's in my pencil case video because I haven't done one of those and it has been requested in the past. So this is my pencil case, it is huge, I got it from Asda about two or three years ago or something and it's been the best purchase in my life. I wish that I could go and get another one because they're awesome but every time I go back to Asda they always just have these ones, um, this is the one that I got for my son, it's got little monsters on it, it's really cute. Um, he's just got gel pens in his and uh, Crayola. So I'm going to show you what's in my pencil case but we're going to do top down view. I just thought I would greet you like this. So yeah, I've got a bunch of stuff to go through so let's get started. Alright, so this is my pencil case and I'm just going to put that to the side. I know my background isn't the best, uh, Caden's like drew on it but we're gonna get right into this because I have a lot of junk in here as you can see I need to go clean it out but I thought I would do this before I cleaned it out so that you should you can see what I generally keep in my pencil case when I'm carrying it around um, so I have this Zig Posterman waterproof pen and this is usually it's a chalkboard pen but I usually I usually use this to uh, to white out writing that I've done in my planner that I don't want in my planner anymore and uh, it's really handy to keep around. This is a recent uh, purchase I would say but I got it in a scroller box. It's a Zig Mancag A05 and it's in violet and I've just put it in my pencil case because I usually put new supplies in my pencil case so that I use them more and it's uh, it's really nice. I haven't used it apart from one drawing and I didn't like it then but I'm gonna try and like it. If I don't I will give it to a friend but this is it. Next up are these pens and I got a pack of like eight, yeah the black one's missing. I got a pack of eight for like two quid or something from Asda. They are Stadler Ball 432 in medium and they're coming different sizes, pink, uh, brown, purple, blue, there's a dark blue as well I think. I think I got ten. Um, red, orange, green and green, lime green and normal green I think. Um, but I like to use these for my planner so I keep them in my pencil case so that they're easy to grab but I think I'm going to take them out um, and I'll just use my art supplies that I draw with in here. Um, so yeah those are the pencils, uh, the pens that I use for my planner. I'm going to get another pencil case and separate them so that I can have a lot more room to play with. These I got as as well, they are Uniball eye micro pencils, I needle needle micro pencils, and I have one in red, green, and blue. I think the pack also comes with two blacks. The two blacks I have one in my room and the other one I don't know where it is, but um, they are awesome for writing in my planner. Again, I use those for uh, adding some color to my weekdays, and they're really nice to write with. They're really, really, really thin. And they're just a joy to write with so those are those I think I might need to get a new set and I probably should buy them soon because they're on sale in the get back to school sale next thing I have is this graphic line master 0.3 and I think I'm gonna take this out of my pencil case because I don't use it that much although I really do want to use it it's a sepia color so it's a different from black so lining things with that would be cool but I don't really line that much because I do more portrait work and like to leave smooth edges but if I was to do like comics or like characters or whatever I would probably want to line this line those with this colour. Um, it's a really nice colour and it's a, a really nice size as well. Next up are a couple of Micron pens which I probably will put in the bin to be honest. Um, most of them are split but this is the uh, 0 01 so it's a 0 0.25 millimetre line. It's tiny um, but these always split on me. I hate them. I have another one as well and I think I have a five. And I also have a brush. I like the brush pen the best though because it's, it doesn't split on me because it's a brush pen. It's more like a felt tip though. Um, but it's nice as well. Next thing I have is another Uniball Eye but this is in fine instead of micro and it's more like a ballpoint pen but it's... Um, it's nicer to write with. The ink is really fluid. I like writing my tasks so usually with these ones I'll write titles and stuff I'll write titles and draw boxes and stuff like that but with this I will write 
the actual thing that I need to do that day. This I think is in everybody's artist pencil case and this is the Pentel brush pen but this one is the pocket version. Um, I think it's a little bit smaller. Um, I don't like the smallness of it so I like to put this on the back there. I think that's what you're supposed to do anyway and I uh, use it like that but it's nice to use. Um, I haven't really got used to it because it's really hard to control for people with shaky hands but I really like it and it's refillable which is good. I also have this Faber-Castell medium pet artist pen. This is the only one that's left because it has not broke on me. I have a really heavy hand guys so this is a medium one. It's a bit thicker and I don't actually use it at all but I think um, I'll just keep it in here just in case I need it. Next thing is this Kali Italic Creative manuscript pen and I like using this to do easy cool looking titles. It's got a flat um, tip and it's shaped in a way that's easy to do calligraphy. I only got it for a pound out of Hobbycraft as well so that was good. Next up is this Parker Vector fountain pen. I have one in black and one in blue although they are refillable so you can change out the inks. Um, this one's the blue one. I use them to write my tasks in my book in my planner. A lot of this side is just planner stuff and I have a bunch of pencil shavings down there as well. I try to keep it organised in pens and pencils and random junk. This is a Posca pen, it's also white. I use it pretty much the same purpose as this, just to white out things, although these are good for highlights and stuff like that for your drawings. And the last thing is also for titles, this is a Pentel Touch and it is in blue. I don't like the colour of it but I got this in a scroller box. Um, it has a cool felt tip, tip, <laughs> and it's uh, really good to write with and it makes cool lines and I really want to get this in other colours but I just think that I would be wasting space because I hardly use it, probably because it's blue. Anyway, in this little tiny pocket that has a zip, I usually keep a miscellaneous junk <laughs> in here. So I've got some blending sticks. I have another one but I don't know where it is. I have a smaller one than these two but they're kind of dirty and that's what happens when you put them in your pencil case and you've got like pencil shavings in there. Um, but these are good to blend out your graphite with. Then I have this Uniball Signal white gel pen. I also have a jelly roll white, um, Secura jelly roll white gel pen but I took it out because I was using it earlier and didn't put it back in. So I have a couple of white gel pens in here just in case I need to add highlights to any of my drawings. And then the next couple of things in here are just rubbers. Um, this one is the Derwin Art Eraser and it's just an eraser that I use. Um, the only reason I use this one so much is because it's in my art shop but there is another place that I could get better erasers around about here that I forgot about so I'm gonna go there and get different ones but these artist ones are good. Um, I usually use Faber-Castell but you can't get them in my shop. This one is a soft art eraser and it's still in its little packaging to keep it nice because I haven't used it much but it's black so I, I'm guessing it's good for, um, it's really dirty in here, <laughs> I'm guessing it's good for uh, doing coloured pencils and stuff like that. Um, but it's still in the packaging because I decided to use this one first. These came in a pack I believe of two. And I also have another black one. This is the Factus Black 18 and this was in a Pentel, uh, not a Pentel, a pigment and palette box that I got this in and it has been my favourite rubber ever since. So I try and keep it in my pencil case so I don't lose it and use it regularly. In this little section, the third section is just pencils and stuff that I used to draw with. So I also have washi tape in here just in case I need it for emergencies for my planner so I do have a little drawer for those but I have this in here because this is the one that I use the most. I usually put the one that I'm using currently in the, my pencil case. Alright so I have a bunch of Prismacolor Color Race in here. I don't know why I have so many, it's just for variety just in case I feel like I want to draw on a different colour. Oh that's not even a Color Race, that's a paper cast there that back. Um, so I have uh, just random colours. I've got green, I've got purple, I've got light grey, Tuscan red, violet, light green, vermilion, rose, blue, scarlet red and 
light blue so I use all of those to color in obviously you can see I use more um, frequently than others but it's just to keep a variety so that I can have each sketchbook page look a little bit different and have a little bit more color to them and I like drawing with them so that's why they're in there um, I do have a lot more colors in a different box though so and the rest is just various pencils so this pencil is just a really cheap mechanical pencil I got them for a pack of like five for a pound or something like that and um, out of the supermarket it's just a really cheap one it doesn't even have a name nameless pencil I don't even know what size it is I think it's a z it's either a 0 0.5 or a 0 0.7 but um, that's just that I have another one but this is from a different place or it might be from the same place I have no idea um yeah it's from the same place it's the same pencil so that's another one that I got in that pack handy to keep around if you don't have a sharpener which obviously I don't in here um, this is a De La Rooney Austria Artists Graphic in F. I have a bunch of these but I keep F in my pencil case for some reason. I never use this. I also have a Fine Art Graphite uh, Create a Colour 8B. Never use this either. Well I do use it for like um, shadows and stuff so this is good handy to have. I know a lot of people that actually use this to draw just completely with their with their pencils. I think it's too hard for me, I'm too scared. This is a Faber-Castell Gold Faber 4B and I like it because it comes to a good point. Um, I usually draw in 2B so I have no idea why this 4B was in here. Um, just probably for variety I guess, but I don't have the 2B in here. This one is the Koya Noir Tyson Doir 5900 I don't know <laughs> but it's it's weird because it's like it looks like an alien basically you see that can you see that I don't know if it will focus on it but it's like it's like it's, <laughs> it's like an alien arm coming to eat you but basically if you do that it comes out really fast and you've just got to you've just got to kind of fiddle around with it until you want it until you've got it to the size that you want and it comes with a sharpener that you can pull out um, or you can twist off really twist it off and it sharpens your pencils which is really cool um, never seen it before I didn't even know what it was I thought it was like I don't know what it was but um, yeah it's really heavy so it's good it feels good in your hand and the last thing is this Palomino Blackwing Pedal Pencil. I've never used the black one, but um, I don't really like this one as much. I think I probably would like it if I was a lot more into drawing and graphite, which was weird because I basically grew up drawing graphite drawings. But um, this is uh, just the Blackwing Pencil, and that's literally all that's in my pencil case. I should have a sharpener in here, but I usually take them out because I use them. I also have come some pennies in here too. Um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, that's everything in my pencil case and I thought I would share because it's interesting to see what people carry around with them. Um, probably will change out some things and put more things in. I usually do keep, um, like I said, a sharpener. I actually have one here that I've been using for my coloured pencils. And I usually keep this spritzer in here. I don't know if I showed you that and some pencil rubbers as well but usually I keep those in my um, Clarendon pencil box. So that is what's in my pencil case um, just now. I'm going to clean it out and probably add more stuff to it so if you want to see an updated version a couple of months down the line then please do give this video a thumbs up and comment below. Tell me what your favourite thing in your pencil case is and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!